All right, Shalom, Shalom to the elect of the nation of Israel. Before I get started, I want to give all praises and glory to Yahweh by Hashem, Yahweh Shai, by Hashem, Rechakodash. Double honors to my apostles and my elders of Great Millstone who lead, teach, and prove well. Love and honor by fellow Aki, push the word in truth, faith, and sincerity across the four corners. Shalom, peace and blessings to the sincere listeners who listen and subscribe to the men and doctrine of Great Millstone. This is the brother you died from G. Mr. Land Church. Come with another lesson to the spirit. That's going to be entitled The True Prosperity Doctrine. The True Prosperity Doctrine. Um, just, you know, woke up and, uh, you know, really working on getting into a, a, a spiritual routine. And um, one thing that came to my mind is, uh, it came to my spirit is, uh, you know, the so-called prosperity doctrine that a lot of, uh, you know, Christians, um preach, push, and adhere to, and even a lot of, um, you know, a lot of so-called uh, Israelite groups and camps out here, you know, really they have a, a, a heavy uh, spirit of, um, you know, the, the Christian pros prosperity uh, doctrine uh, interwoven into their, uh, their own uh, particular doctrine in which, you know, it really boils down to what, what, your focus and what your goal is, man. You know, if you're if if the prosperity that you're looking for and uh, uh, hasten and day to uh, to and towards is the prosperity of, of salvation and getting the fuck up out of here, okay, then you won't be, um, you know, taken by the you know the plantation uh, Christian Christian Christianity uh, ideology of of that worldly carnal you know, materialistic uh, prosperity, man. So, you know, I just wanted to go into um, this topic and uh, Lord willing, you edify through the spirit, power, and mercy of your how about Shimei Shai. I'm going to start off here with the etymology of the word prosperity, you know, because, you know, beginning with the apostles uh, and elders on down, um, they push to us and really uh, encourage us to get into the meaning of words, man, you know, because a lot of um, misunderstanding and misconceptions about certain uh Topics and concepts come from a lack of, of understanding of even just something as simple as the, the power of words, you know. So here's uh, the etymology of the word prosperity, which is the noun form. It says flourishing or thriving condition, good fortune, wealth, success in, in anything good or desirable. And see, that's one thing that, you know, uh, you know we have to take into, take into consideration, you know, because you can flourish and you can thrive in different conditions in different um, areas and arenas. Okay, you can have good fortune, good fortune, and you know a level of success or wealth. But what what is your desire towards? You know, what is your your mind, um, you know, um, uh, m moving towards and, and really um, taking a lot of time to uh, uh, consider and, and move towards, man. You know, because like I said, you know, because um, you know, like I said, you know, with um the so-called uh, plantation Christianity doctrine, they push a, 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 a carnal level of prosperity in which we shouldn't, that's that's not our main focus. You know what I'm saying? We understand that uh, we, by first seeking the kingdom of heaven and pleasing Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh Shah, that all other things will be added unto us. You see, so when you're looking for success or prosperity, it, it, is it for the good of salvation and the good of uh the will of Yahweh Hashem Yahweh Shai being done and his and his uh, prophecies being met, okay, and and uh, and ultimately, uh, Lord willing, you're found to be a part of the number uh, of those of the remnant that's that's to be saved, okay, or, or are you desiring cars and houses and uh, you know the the carnal things of this world, you know? So I just want to get a uh, touch that word prosperity real quick because it's it's prosperity is like almost like one of those. Uh, it's like one, it's like a two-edged sword. You know, scriptures speak about, um, matter of fact, let me go ahead and get it. <sighs> Hebrews 4 and 11. Let us labor therefore to enter into that rest, lest any man fall after the same example of unbelief. For the word of God is quick and powerful and sharper than any two-edged sword, piercing even to the dividing asunder of soul and spirit, and of the joints and marrow, and as a discerner of the thoughts and intents of the heart. You see, so, you know, prosperity is one of those things that's almost like a, um, it's a two-edged sword in the sense that it really d discerns the thoughts and intents of your heart. You know, are you looking for 
are you, are we looking for um, spiritual prosperity or are we looking for carnal prosperity? You see, so, you know, it's it's one of those instances in which it's like, a, um, you know, be, being presented life and death, you know, because we, we know and understand and trust that following the, the Holy Scriptures, the law, statutes, commandments, and the Holy Spirit to the best of our ability, that's the the uh, uh, what brings the true spiritual prosperity that we're uh, looking and laboring for, man, you know, so... Uh, now to get a few precepts. I'm starting from the uh, book of John 8 and verse 31. This is John 8 and 31. Then Yahweh Shai, then said Yahweh Shai to those Jews which believed on him, if ye continue in my word, then are ye my disciples indeed. You see, so, you know, Yahweh Shai, man, Yahweh Shai really, really put us up on game, man, spiritual game, you know, to uh, to really show us what the true prosperity doctrine is in which the true, the true prosperity comes through uh, spiritual growth, you know, spiritual success, you know, uh, uh, moving forward um, and, and uh, uh, becoming more upright, man. You know, uh, being a man and woman or child of, of spiritual understanding and uh, spiritual integrity. And even uh, the word disciple uh, uh, um, is a stem from discipline. You know what I'm saying? Adhering ourselves to a certain standard in which the standard that we're given is through the Holy Scriptures, man. All right. Uh, in verse uh, John 8 and 32. And ye shall know the truth and the truth shall make you free. You see, in that freedom, okay, is the freedom of, of mind, man. Okay, the freedom of your spirit that in which, you know, as we've been speaking on the last few weeks in, uh, uh, during camp, you know, the freedom to know that, you know, you're doing the right thing, you know? So when you, when you, when you know, and you're confident that you're doing the right thing and we know, and we, um, understand that, okay, by the, the, like I said, the, 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 the Holy Spirit working with us to have us gain the understanding of the law, statutes and commandments. When we know that we're moving, uh, according to the, according to the guidelines of the scriptures, man, and the uh, will of Yahweh, by Hashem, Yahweh Shai, Man, that's a level of uh, prosperity, man, you know? And um, like I said, that's a separation, okay, of us here at Great Millstone um, from particularly from these uh, uh, plantation Christ Christianity-based um, uh, individuals out here because, uh, you know, to the best of our ability, we do uh, what we, we do the best to our ability to uh, please Yahweh by Hashem, Yahweh Shai, and follow the Holy Spirit. You know, a lot of these Christian, uh, so-called uh, Christians, they'll, you know, scream and holler and, you know, say they, you know, they're saved and have the truth and, you know, uh, proclaim a level of godliness. Okay, but then as soon as they leave their church service, they go and uh, um, commit adultery. You know, they uh, are, are, are homosexuals. Um, you know, they um, uh, uh, eat abominable foods. You know what I'm saying? They uh, worship idols. You see, they uh, uh, sacrifice their integrity. It's something as simple as uh, not shaving your beard, you know, for uh, for a paycheck. You know, they put up the so-called white man really in their in their uh, spirit as God, you know, as the power, as the most high. You see, and, and, and we here, we, we understand that, that uh, doing those uh, wicked things are not uh, true. First of all, they're not true. OK, and then second of all, they're not uh, true, uh, true, pro true prosperity, you know, Um. Now I'm going to move to John 14. I'm going to start at verse 15. John 14 and 15. If ye love me, keep my commandments, and I will pray the Father, and he shall give you another comforter that, ye, that he may abide with you forever. You see? And see, through the best of our ability, um, keep keeping ourselves to the standard of the, uh, of the, the Holy Scriptures, hey amen, we have a, a mediator and an intercessor in Yahweh Shai in which he's... Um, uh, 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 from the report of the angels telling the, the heavenly father that, you know, we're, we're doing the right thing, man, you know, and then, um, he allows the, uh, the comforter, the Holy spirit to, um, work with us to, to gain the, uh, the knowledge, wisdom, and understanding of the Holy scripture so we can continue in that, that right way. So what? So that Yahweh Shai may abide with us forever, man, you know? And, and we can abide with Yahweh Shai, which what? Puts us in tune with the Holy Spirit and also puts us in tune with our Heavenly Father, Yahweh Shai. All right, John 14 and 17. Even the spirit of truth, and once again, we're getting into the true prosperity doctrine, right? Even the spirit of truth, whom the world cannot receive, because it seeth him not, neither knoweth him, but ye know him, for he dwelleth with you 
and shall be in you. I will not leave you comfortless. I will come to you. See, and when we're getting to, the, like we were speaking on, the, the, the concept of prosperity, flourishing, thriving, being of good fortune, wealth, success, and anything good or desirable. And what are we desiring? We're desiring to please Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai. You see, this is what we're desiring. We're desiring for, uh, uh, once again, for the will of Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai to gather the nations so that the whole world can be judged. And ultimately, this place of uh, this captivity of America can be destroyed. All right, because it's hell. Okay, it's hell for us as a people. You know, we, we, we've um, counted all things that we've uh, 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 forsaken as dung, man, as crap, okay? Because we understand that the true prosperity, okay, comes from Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shah, and it comes through the spirit first, man. It comes through the spirit. It doesn't come through carnal, materialistic things, okay? And um, for anyone who's, uh, you know, still, you know, stuck in or, or, or intertwined in that type of mentality and mindset, man, hey, you got to really rebuke that spirit, man, and, and tap into the true spirit, man, all right, tap into the the, uh, uh, the the rivers of living water, so to speak, man, all right, the, the, the Holy Scriptures, all right, and the Holy Spirit, all right, and, and, and begin to give praises, glory and iron to our Heavenly Father, Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai, Yahweh being in true and proper name of our Heavenly Father, all right, Yahweh Shai being in true and proper name of the Lord, Savior, Messiah of the nation of Israel, man, all right, this is John 17, I'm going to start at verse 14. I have given them thy word and the world have hated them because they are not of the world, even as I am not of the world. You see, and this is red letters, man. OK, so, you know, you know, debunking the whole uh, uh, notion of, you know, pr the prosperity doctrine. Hey, man, do, do people hate these Christians for what they stand on? All right. Do, do, the, do the Christian churches and pastors even push the, the concept of, of, of hate or being hated? No. All right, they push what? The concept of being love. You know, God loves every God loves everyone. God loves you. God loves me. God loves uh, uh everything. But that's not that's not what the scriptures say, man. All right. And and the true prosperity doctrine has to be uh um based on truth, in which this word is the truth, man. All right. And anything that is contrary to this word is false, man. It's falsification. All right. John 17 and 15. I pray not that thou shouldest take them out of the world, but that thou shouldest keep them from the evil. They are not of the world, even as I am not of the world. Sanctify them through thy truth. Thy word is truth. And see, this is the true prosperity doctrine. The truth comes through what? The word. As it's written, John 17 and 17. Sanctify them through thy truth. Thy word is truth. You see? And a part of the a part of the truth of the uh, understanding of the Holy Scriptures is that what we're going to be hated for this for this word, man. Okay, for this understanding, you see, you can't you can't get to the wide without going through the narrow. All right, you, you can't be exalted without first being abased. You see, and this is the, this is the true prosperity doctrine. You see, and we understand that by being abased or, or being hated or or being shunned for uh, uh, the name. Or, or doctrine given to us by Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai, that's actually a blessing, man. You know? Uh, continuing on, John 17 and 18. As thou hast sent me into the world, even so have I sent them into the world. And for their sakes I sanctify myself, that they also might be sanctified through the truth. You see? And uh, um, and and as well, Amen. A, a, a major portion of the true prosperity doctrine is that understanding that we are um, uh, uh, partakers in, in uh, this ministry. OK. in Lord willing, this salvation through what? Through the sanctification and the sacrifice of our Lord, Yahweh Shai. You see, Yahweh, Yahweh Shai uh, uh, um, uh, uh, remain perfectly, perfectly upright. OK. And completely sanctify himself and his entire life. Okay, to be uh, uh, the perfect sacrifice so to, uh, 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 for the nation of Israel to atone for our sins. So, yeah, man, there's a certain level of pressure, okay, a, a certain level of trial, tribulation that comes by way of this doctrine, man. And, and that's the truth of the matter. You know, it's, once again, it's not about materialist materials or cars or none of that, man. It ain't about women. You know, we understand even with women, they, the whole purpose of women is to what? It's to carry... Uh, uh, our seed and our lineage forth, you see? 
which it puts things in a proper uh, order and context. You see, but hey, man, like I said, man, it just comes through the understanding that this is the truth. OK, and to and to gain a level of prosperity, uh, um, you know, in the doctrine, you know, you have to understand what is true. You see what was true and what's false. All right. And the things that are false, you have to acknowledge them and you got to cast them away, man. OK, the things that are true, whether they hurt, whether it, whether it's a, 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 a prosperous, you know, what I'm saying whether it, whether it, whether it's a, a, a Yahweh Bashmi, I was shy. Taking things away from you, giving you things, putting you through situations, okay, uh, uh, abasing you, exalting you. It all comes through, really through the understanding of the Holy Scriptures, man, okay, given to us by the Holy Spirit, all right? And finishing off, 2 Timothy 3, verse 16. All Scripture is given by inspiration of God and is profitable for doctrine, for reproof, for correction, for instruction in righteousness, that the man of God may be perfect thoroughly furnished unto all good works and see this inspiration okay it's like you this this uh the scriptures that were given to us by the inspiration of the most high how by shim how shy that's what brings the the profitability man okay and we understand that first things are uh uh, uh first the gifts and the treasures and the rewards are given to us through the spirit man spiritual uh uh um spiritual uh um upliftment you see what I'm saying? Spiritual profitability. You see what I'm saying? Uh, uh, um, spiritual promotions. That was the word I was looking for. Uh, spiritual promotions, man, so that we can grow and, uh, and abound, man. Okay? Uh, once again, uh, verse 17, that the man of God may be perfect, thoroughly furnished unto all good works. Meaning that once we understand and intake, once we intake and understand these scriptures and the Holy Spirit works with us to... Um, really allow us to incorporate it into our day-to-day -day lives, man, that's when we become profitable in everything that we do, you see? And that is the true prosperity doctrine, man, the, the, the prospering, okay, and the uh, uh, profitability, and like I said, the promotion uh, through the spirit, man, spiritual uh, uh, promotions, man, okay? So, you know, Lord willing, you edified. Once again, I want to give all praises and glory to Yahweh by Hashem, Yahweh Shai, by Hashem, or Chakwadash, Double honors to my apostles and my elders of great millstone who lead, teach, and rule well. Love and honor to my fellow Akim, push the word in true faith and sincerity across the four, corner, across the four corners. Until next time, Shalom.